Hello, my name is Wolfgang Birkfellner. I am an amateur astronomer and telescope maker for almost four decades. And in this little video, I'm about to show the possibilities of the Astroberry, which is a dedicated astronomy related image of the well known Raspbian operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4. In order to get the Astroberry image, one has to go to www.astroberry.io. Here you find a description of the Astroberry project that originated from the initiative of Radek Kaczurek. You find a description of all the software that can be found in there, including K-Stars, SkyChart, Hard on Northern Sky, Castisiel, Astrometrinet, Astrop, PhD2, OA Capture, Fire Capture, and many more. There is also an active support group that can be found on Facebook, and there is lots of support coming from the IndieLib forum, which I will introduce in the next section of this video. And here you also find instructions how to download an image onto an SD card, which can then be run on your Raspberry Pi 4. A Pi 4 is recommended due to its larger memory size and higher speed. An essential component of Astroberry is the usage of the Indie library. The basic idea of Indie is to have a server that runs device drivers for mounts, cameras, all kinds of devices used in astronomy. And this server communicates with so-called clients. It is however necessary to emphasize that one does not have to have a network connected to the Astroberry setup in order to use Indy. Let us take a look at the demo equipment. We mounted a Lacerta 72mm F6 Apochromat onto a Skywatcher EQM35 Pro mount and we also attached a Lacerta DS 2600 cooled color camera onto this setup. We also connected a planetary camera as a potential guider camera and the whole thing was controlled over the SynScan handbox. Astroberry was installed on a Raspberry 400 that is basically a Raspberry 4 with 4 GB of memory and a keyboard. Let us now try the most simple case, a local Indie server and a local client on the Astroberry. We start KSTARS, a planetarium program that acts as an interface to Indie. And one can start an Indie server directly from KSTARS. This we do here. We select the SynScan driver for the telescope mount. The telescope mount is connected via USB to the Raspberry Pi running the Astroberry image. And after connection, the position of the telescope is displayed in the planetarium program. We can now issue a slew to a second target and the mount will carry out a meridian flip during this process. Here we also see the DS2600 camera attached to the Lacerta 72 Apocomat. The scope has now crossed the pole and moves towards its target. Of course, it's also possible to add more devices to the Indie server. For instance, the camera. While the camera is branded by Lacerta, it is a Tobtech camera and 
the top cam driver in Indy is appropriate here. By starting this, one also has now control over the camera in addition to SynScan. There's more to this and maybe it is now the time to meet the scheduler of K-Stars called ECOS. By clicking on the dome icon one can start ECOS and it's possible to define profiles in there. One can either use the internal guider or external guiding programs like PHD2, which is also included with the Astroberry image. Again, we define the scene scan driver as the appropriate interface and the top tech as the CCD driver. And as the guiding camera is also a top tech, we also choose the top tech driver here. It is possible to attach motor focusers like the Lacerta MFOC, for instance. Filter wheels can be addressed, but we don't have one attached in this case. And there's also a plethora of additional devices. The one that is most important is probably AstrometriNet, which is a plate solver that can be run within ECOS, also using local index files. And also the Lacerta MGen can be addressed using Indy. Once this profile is defined, it is possible to start the adequate Indy server. And now we have three devices connected here. The guiding camera, for instance, also features an interface to ST4, so one can manually move the mount here using ST4 commands. And it is now possible to define a schedule for taking a number of photographs and also bias and dark frames. Now for an advanced topic, accessing AstroBerry via a web browser. So it is possible to access the internal VLAN of the AstroBerry by typing the default address 10.42.01 into a web browser. The default password is AstroBerry. Now you can, for instance, connect this low-cost astrophotography setup, a Canon DSLR, with an old Mamiya 645 lens to K-Stars and start up the adequate Indie server. Setting up a DSLR is a little bit more complicated than setting up a standard CCD. The reason is that DSLRs have a larger number of parameters compared to simple astrophotography cameras. The one thing you have to be aware of is that when connecting a DSLR, you first have to enter the size and dimensions of the chip. So in this case, the number of pixels have to be typed in, also the pixel size of 5.2 micrometers and the bit resolution of the images, although I assume that this is not really playing a big role. This can be saved and this procedure is supported by ECOS. However, if you don't do that, you might run into trouble connecting your DSLR. As the skies are cloudy tonight, I took an image of a more profane subject, an organic apple. I'm getting a Fitz image of that. Of course, it's not debayed. But if I save this and open it using the software GwenView, which is also installed on the AstroBerry image, I'm getting a nice colorful Apple image. And this can also be done via different devices. So in order to answer this question, yes, it does work 
and as you can see the apple even looks a little bit more vivid on an iPad compared to reality. One may ask how to become a Unix user and the answer is you don't have to. One of the strengths of Indy is that it uses networking infrastructure. So what we see here is Stellarium, a well-known planetarium program that just connects from a different computer onto the Indy server of Astroberry. And as Stellarium supports Indy, it is also possible to send information to the Astroberry from almost any computer on any platform with every program that supports Indy. That is really a huge advantage and I can only strongly recommend to try this out and maybe some of your troubles in amateur astronomy might become a thing of the past. So, thank you for your attention. Here you find a list of all the important links where you find all the resources and also support and documentation on Astroberry and the Indie Library. There's also an active Facebook group here. And for all of those of you who are German speaking, we do also have an Austrian forum and two major German forums where all things Astroberry and Indie can be discussed. There's also a German speaking Facebook group called K-Stars Indie and Ecos. And for those of you who want to know what we used here in this demo setup, this is the equipment that was uh, shown and I would like to thank Nazerta Optics for supplying us with most of the hardware and for their continuous support. Go visit their website.